the Eververse Gaming. It is I, the Eververse Gamer, and today we are looking at Moonlighter. Now, Moonlighter is going to be, um, it's kind of dungeon crawler slash city building, kind of slightly. Um, <clears throat> so you run this shop and you dive into dungeons and you sell things you find in the dungeons in your shop. Um, so let's check it out. Maybe if we can never get into it. Don't sink my. Oh. Oh, look at that. Uh. Oh. That's a lot of. That's that's loud. That's loud in my ears. Holy cow. Ooh. Gotta turn that down just a little bit. All right, graphics. Turn vertical sync on. Pixel perfect. Right. Oh, we'll turn. We'll just turn music off. I don't need music. All right, cool. Oh, now see, we're gonna erase this because I was playing on the Xbox, which is why I decided to play this game. So we're gonna play a new game. Uh, we're gonna play on uh hard. Um, so I've played a little bit of the game, but I liked it and I'm like, Hey, I think I kind of want to play this for the channel. So we're going to, uh, play it for the channel. All right. One night maze is full. Okay. Well, they call them dungeons, strange, ever changing ruins of the unknown lands. Soon a village of slightly curious. The side took root near the dungeons. They named it Renoka. Among the settlers, two groups shine the brightest heroes and merchants, glory and riches. Ah, uh, but the dungeons proved too dangerous. They were soon closed as too many lives were lost in their depths. Life became hard for the town, especially for the young owner of the older shop, Will of Moonlighter. Long dreaming of opening the mysterious fifth door of the dungeons. Oh, I read that wrong. Oops. Press A to continue. All right. So it's going to take take us through the tutorial. Here we are in the dungeon. Dang, Will. You look rough. All right, so tutorial. This is how we move around. All right, LT is how we roll. LT to jump across gaps. Uh, to dodge. All right. There we go. A to attack. We got my trusty broom. What are these things? Little slimies. Hit him with the trusty broom. And RT to use potion if you need it. All right. Let's see, boom. That guy's gonna take a couple hits from a lab room. Yeah, check that out. Yeah, check that out. Yeah, check that out. Yeah, take the broom. <laughs> All right, eight open the chest. Um, what, how do I? Quick move all, cool. And then we'll get over here to open this one. Quick move all, all right. Next room, oh, we got baddies, we got baddies. Oh, I'm not meant to win this, am I? I'm not meant to win this, am I? No, because. All right. So you're not going to win this no matter how hard you try. <coughs> so you're going to lose all that loot. It's going to drop you out in front of the uh, dungeon. Uh, die with your inventory full of items. Man, there is no avarice without a price. Avarice meaning greed. <laughs> right? That's what avarice means. Uh, what a sorry looking kid. 
Hold on, we're gonna Google Avarice real quick. Avarice. Yep, Extreme Greed or Wealth or Material Game, which is why we're the Avaricious Gaming. <laughs> Rest for a bit. Will I have now? I have you now. Okay, old man. Whatever. Just stare at me creepily like that. All right, and just come in and out of my place for no apparent reason. Mm, even as a mere child, barely able to walk through a career at the dungeons. There is no doubt you carry on the same obsession as old Pete. Morning, boy. Did our little merchant bite off more than he could manage? Yeah, a little bit. Well, listen to me. The hard truth is, you are the last of your family, the only one left to run Moonlighter. You can't keep pushing yourself like this. Risking your life on the fifth door is not sensible. Just leave it. Find some artifacts, then use your pendant to get out of the dungeon. And for Crater's sake, stop using that broom of yours, you daft boy. It's dangerous to go alone. Take this. It's mine from back in the day. Use it. I have little need for it now. Cool. Old man gave me a sword and shield. Let's go. So. <coughs> you run the shop by day. That's who's selling your merchandise. Two things you must know: value and it's the man. All right, so you, I really don't want to go through the shop tutorial again, but yeah, nice. You can sell that for a hundred dollars, hundred gold coins. Did you see? Best expression you can have. The item wasn't too expensive, but not so cheap. You lose profit. Pretty sure to pay attention to the expressions. That's how your grandpa also knew, always knew if his prices were fair. I doubt we'll sell that for 170. Yeah. I don't think I need to tell you that. Yeah, obviously. Lesson learned. Okay, cool. Yep, 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 yep. Basically, he's telling you about supply and demand. Basically, yep. <coughs> All right, yep. You'll be able to restore the spot to full glory. Blah blah blah. So basically, your goal is to find, find, buy, and sell artifacts, and uh, uh, find artifacts, sell artifacts, and then um. And find artifacts, then sell them in the shop, make money. But there is more to know. There's more to know about these dungeons. Now, all right, so let's get started with Golem Dungeon 1. Nothing here, huh? Bogus. So let's go up north. All right, there's these little green slimy guys. All right. All righty. Uh, anything you pick up, like, can be sold. Oh, my itches. All right. X is going to be blocked. A is going to be attack. Simple enough. All right, we got a little... Oh. There we go. Did pretty good with fighting him. Oh, we got a big one here. Okay. Ouch. Took some hits there. Go, took some hits there, but one either way. 
Okay, the little slimies. We we can take those no problem. Oh, they only dropped one little slime dust though, unfortunately. Now let's see. Oh. What have we got here? Read. To person of hopefully far better luck than mine, I, my time is short. I took injury from the strange creature across the room. I pinned it, all but shattered from the scuffle. Check him out. I'd say he fared better. He caught me spying on him near the guardian's room. He dropped a couple items and fled, one of which is a map diagram, whatever it is. They call me crazy, said old crazy Pete, then gone, lost his marbles. But I was right. Each guardian of the dungeon must possess a key of some sorts, all of them linked to the giant locked door outside the dungeons, the fifth door of Renoka. Renaka. Uh, sadly, I won't be able to see the door open to whoever found me. I apologize for the smell, but the diagram should be around here somewhere. Please open the fifth door. Okay, cool. So there should be a diagram, some paper somewhere. It's going to be over here. <clears throat> Big boss gonna kill me. I'm supposed to let them all out. Now I have to chase this weird creature that stole my stuff. So, ah, big boss gonna be so upset with little me. All right, so as you can see, gotta find four keys to open the fifth door. And then, yep. And then we'll pick this stuff up and we'll use the pendant to go on home. Get up out of here. <clears throat> so I got a little bit of cough. My bad. And so long loading screen. But that's basically the gist of it. You do little dungeon runs. You use your pendant. You teleport out. And old man with his staff. Gonna come bother me. Ah, the young proprietor of the Moonliner has returned. You looked at full and tight. Finally, you need to use that pendant properly. It's about time, boy. Uh, what are you holding? Oh, is that a chart of the dungeons? Where did you get this? You you found old Pete. Dead. Uh, see, this is what happens when you chase what's beyond that door. Leave it, Will. Just get the artifacts you need from the Golem Dungeon and look after the Moonlighter. Now, I've posted some posts on the boards that might interest you. Some shops want to move in, attempt to revitalize the town. Apparently, they need some startup fund capital. Be nice. Nice indeed. Okay. I don't have enough gold for no startup capital, so we're just gonna have to uh, wait. The one thing, one thing I do want to get in is the blacksmith. I want to get him in. All right, so that's uh, yep, a hundred. We will put this here. We'll sell it for a hundred. Then we'll put one of these here. We'll sell it for, uh, I think I can get away with 50. And then a root, we'll put it here and get away with 10. All right, with that set up, we're gonna go ahead and, uh, okay, yep, cool. We'll go ahead and um, sleep get the night away we'll open the store run the store for a little bit and then we'll get back to the dungeon and that's the gist of the game and so when I say city building it's only slightly city building it's more a uh, roguelike dungeon crawler oh uh, so she's gonna come in she's gonna look oh she's just gonna enjoy the heat she's not gonna buy anything uh, let's see Oh, see, that right there means they found that for a good deal. So we want to up the price on it. I think I can get 100 for it then. All right, you want to buy this for 50. That's cool. You want to buy this for 100. That's nice. Let me get something else over here on the table. Oh, what is this? Teeth stone. Um, let's start off with 60 for it. <clears throat> okay. All right. Oh man, a hundred. He's got eyes like that on a hundred for that. We might have to go up further. All right. Um, 
They, she did not like the price of this, so I'm going to drop it down to 30. Oh, she didn't like the price for the rod either. So the rod, I'm going to drop down to 50. There you go. <coughs> it's all about finding that sweet spot. Ugh. 50 is still too much. Let's drop it down to 30. And then we'll, <laughs> we'll, we'll drop this down to 10. And, um, we'll sell this over here for 10. Not making a whole lot of money this time, are we? It's all right. You just have to learn what they want to pay for. You have to learn their price, learn what the price is. Once you learn what the perfect price is, you just, you sell everything all the time. Oh yeah, a little much for that, huh? So we'll drop the piece of wood down to five. Oh yeah, we'll, we'll have to drop this down to five too. All right. I think I think I just sold that low. Let's look at the iron bar. I missed it. Let's see. Thirty. So maybe twenty five for the iron bar then. Got plenty of these branches, so There you go. Um, run the store a little bit longer, then we'll go to the. Uh, what are you looking for weapons? I'm not gonna find any here. So five is a good price for the uh, the little branch looking thing. All right, I'm gonna need y'all to buy something. Come on. Don't just walk around soaking up my heat. Oof. Oof. So, like, this is still too much. So, we'll change this to five. And then. They say this is still too much. So, we'll change it to. Three. All right. Anyone else? I'm about to close up shop. It's getting dark outside. Really? Really? Oh, maybe it's in low demand. Maybe that's what it is. is. Is it that it's just in low demand? Popularity. Okay, it's not very popular. Okay, that's fine. I'm close to shop anyways. Picked up some gold. It's time to go into the dungeon. Oh, um, investment sent it to town. Oh, um, 500 for the blacksmith. Investments into the shop. Cheap sale box. Iron cash register. That's something I want. <laughs> All right, so. What I want to do is uh, come in here to this chest and just dump my loot in it. Um, there 
There you go. Okay, cool. And then now that we are empty of loot, let's go back up to the dungeon. Yeah, gotta get a little dodge roll going. And uh, boy, we're already at the 20 minute mark for this video, so we'll do one more dungeon run. Hopefully we won't die. We'll do a dungeon run and then we'll end the video. Let's see, let's go left. Oh, what are you, what are you? All right, you gotta get rid of this thing, okay. Dang. All right, there you go, there you go, there you go. Oh, and I unlocked a chest, that's what I'm talking about. Open. Oh, what are these? Okay. <laughs> cool. Um, I was hoping for a dead end on one of these. Let's see. All right. There you go. There we go. Oh, look at that. Perfect. Beautiful, beautiful. And then we'll take these. All right. I don't have a whole lot of potions, so I need to be sparing with them. All right, and then boom. This guy over here, oh, oh, he had a potion, nice. What did he have? The golems lurking amongst these stones, walls, are sturdy, but their combat ability and are easy to protect. Some of the guys can proper stun you if they land a hit, though. Is that all it says? Yep, yeah, okay, cool. Um, I did find a- oh! No, 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 no. Oh, man. I lost some of that stuff, but man, that was a tough little golem. He was a red guy. First time I've seen one of those. Here's a crack in the wall. No, nope, nothing doing, okay. All right, this is the original chamber. Oh, what? Oh, man, stop sucking me into your little. All right, let's take those. Spend in exchange for gold. No. So, um. So at some point it becomes. What is this? What? Why, why do our tools keep disappearing? Chambers full of precious stones are left untouched, but rooms and chests holding our most basic tools keep vanishing. All right, here we go. Oh. Okay. Oh man. Oh. Oh, I should not. Okay. Okay, come on. Dang it. Oh, I'm gonna have to get out of here. Dang it! No! Ah, oh, can I play again? 
Where does it start me at, though? And here we... What the... Oh, what the crap. Alright. Oh, hey, I like that. Oh, you just like knock stuff up off me. There we go. Okay, cool, cool, cool. I ran out of potions and I'm mad because I couldn't heal myself. And then I should I was too close and the guy got me. Oh. Oh, I'm not going to find my stuff, am I? I need empowering crystals to enchant my webbing, but those seem really hard to find. Ouch. Man, that was like a boss too. And if I had taken him down, that would have been, oh man. All right, here we go. Okay, so that's the entrance to uh to a different like area. All right, so we're just gonna There's uh All right. There we go. There's no need to go that way. I don't have any kind. I don't have the equipment needed to go that way. <coughs> Use my last poor little potion. That's gotta go. Dang it. Jeez. Let him get me. Um, what is these? All right. Um, I'm just gonna take it and go. All right. So that's a that's a dungeon run complete. Nice. So I found some uh. <coughs> Some pretty decent artifacts. Now you could pay to have the uh, blacksmith move in, but to get anything good from him, it still costs you a whole bunch of money. And so it's like I want to say it's worth it to to move him in, but at the same time, it's just like, nah, bro, don't even bother. This right here is gonna go up to 150 though. Actually, you know what? I'm bold. 200. And they say there's no demand for this. So we'll do this mushroom cap and we'll do it at 10. Um, I think. <coughs> so, uh, that's our first episode of Moonlighter. Um, that's basically all I've discovered. That's the first time I've seen um, a boss battle, though. So uh, I got my butt handed to me. And I'm definitely not going to be able to do anything against anybody else because I'm, I'm out of potions now. So uh, 
Let me know what y'all think down in the comments below. Uh, if y'all want to see more of this, let me know. And uh, hit the like button if you enjoyed the video. And if you've yet to subscribe, please do so. And I'll see you next time.